light. Welcome Vela Carpers to this week's um, vlog. 24 hours somewhere completely different. It's White Springs down in Podge de Lice. Um, it's been about two years plus since I've been here. Pick, you've been here before. This is Pickering, obviously, if you remember him from Valley Lakes as well. A long time ago, that was uh, both down, and been down here for a while. So we're going to give it a bash. It's, um, was it nine and a half lakers? And there is a shed load of big, big fish in here. This is big, big fishing. Um, I think I can't it on the board at the top there. I, and there was the other side. I think there was like 40 fish over 30. So, and they go up to, there's a couple that are known to go around the 40 mark and over. So, fingers crossed. Um, Weather wise, it's been really brutally cold all week. It's warmed up a little bit. So, let's hope it plays in our favour. We do know two fish come off of the soil shed last night. So, hopefully, it's a side to come. Um, what do you reckon, Pick? What do you reckon? <laughs> it's just come for the beer. Yes. It's gonna it's it's gonna be it's not an easy lake. This yeah. is a, it is not an easy lake, so it's gonna be tough. We've got a nice big swimming here in Peg Seven. Um we have a cub in as well, a bit of luxury. Do you know what I mean? Like I said. And this is uh paid for me to come away from a birthday treat. She also got me I I gotta show <laughs> gotta show you this. You might have seen it on one of the fishes from Total Cup. I asked her for an upgrade. I said, oh, she said, oh, anything you want for your birthday? Yeah, go on then. Upgrade my water canister, that's all. Give me a rich monkey one. So, she did. Look at that bad boy. <laughs> Check that out. One of a kind. Yeah. So, you never know. <laughs> in, the, in the future. £35 one of them bad boys. Um, but yeah, fishing wise then. Slow. Literally, it has been slow down here. It's going to be a tough one. Um, I've edged my bets three different tactics and three different rods. Um, I've, got, I've, I've step, stuck with a krill on one rod that is um, over on the island, over there. Uh, literally, that's probably, it's only got about 20 baits on it. We're using a bait boat as well. So 20 bait boat, um, 20 baits, small amount of krill with a bit of pellet in there as well. Um, I've got a single pop-up on, same that I've been catching all my fish down on the fen rod with, with the naked chod. Um, so that's a single, gooed up. Uh, and then on my other rod then, I've gone with a nut base, which is CR1, with the matching bait strip. And I've put about half a kilo in there. So I'll, I'll try lightly baiting, heavy baiting, singles. That's the way I'm going. Pick, what about you? Uh, I don't remember. Pink, pink krill pop up on now in the margin. Yeah. Middle, yeah, the middle one's got an off beat. Some of the main line, is it impact? Yeah. I've got a foot off the bank here. Middle tree. On a tree, yeah. We've seen he, he's been with his boat, he's been going on that corner as well, hasn't he? And that was mid water with the say, Bonofi with red. Yeah, um, no, we've, we've had a look with uh, we got a boat with an echo solder. Um, I was going to be set up right on the bottom because it's so it was saying it was only what 1.3 meters deep most of the most of the area, and then obviously, yeah, it shadows off near the islands and whatnot. Um, so yeah, it's not much variation, pretty clean, but. Couldn't see any fish either, so uh, it's going to be tough. Very. But it doesn't matter, we're out, aren't we? We're on the bank 24 hours, we got the bed. Pickering's just sorted the TV out in the cabin, so I'll show you that later for the rugby. What more can you ask for other than fish. a fish? Exactly, so lumps. some lumps, hopefully. Right, we're going to leave it there, and um, yeah, we'll catch back with you later on. <laughs> I'll touch it on the bed rod. <laughs> <laughs> I take it out of my bag and then I'll 
Okay, we're not. Right, evening carpers, welcome back. We'll do a little evening update. There's not a great deal to report, um, if anything. We have seen a fish though. One did bosh out right in the middle of our swim, um, where we've got rods, so it's, it's a bonus, isn't it? At least we've seen something in the area. We'll take that. Um, but a couple of bleeps, you've had a couple of bleeps as well. But that's it, it's, it's definitely the water, from the water temperature, 7.5 five degrees so it's definitely cold it feels cold but it's just straight from that yeah feels cold wind comes in it's blowing do you know what I mean you can feel it it does feel cold um and then all of a sudden it stops and it seems like it almost feels like it warms up and it drops and warms up and then drops so we play it by a big moon out but all the rods are done um i'm happy you happy where yours are yeah we've filled up we've had a chinese so it's all about Pray you now, isn't it? Pray to the carp gods now that something comes and picks them up in the night. So, yeah, come up yeah nothing, no one's had anything. It's been eerily quiet, so it's just one of them things. Cut the fish for now. That's the, that's the key, especially for these vlogs. Yeah. So, right, unless you catch us in the night now with a lamp, I'll see you in the morning. <laughs> Carpers, um, <laughs> I like to say it was eventful, it was anything but just slept all night. In your life, slept all night. I think, um, well, you got a burly, he said, I think he had a bite. There was a bleep on one of my rods, I think that was it. One bleep all night. Um, it's been quiet over here. I've been out with the echo sounder this morning, can't see any fish in the area. Um, <coughs> lad over on the salt shed has had sunny this morning, fair play to him. And the, Bloke over there, did you see the bloke over there has lost one? Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. I don't know what to say really. The first one in it was down here, so it was always going to be tough. Conditions are going to be tough. But it's not all bad. Do you know what I mean? We had a bit of uh, Chinese food beers, watch the rugby. God, these nights are getting long though. Cause you're, <laughs> how many times do we go? Is that all the time there? <laughs> <laughs> it's been the days, yeah, it's, it's just daylight, dark, it's dark, it's dark. It's. Um, so we've got about four hours now until until we've got drop a peg. So you never know. The rods are in the water, we've got a chance. We don't know what's going on under there and if they're going to come. Um, well, what I do, actually, is show, do the um, cabin. What have we got to say? You must have something to say. It's been tough. <laughs> it's, been, ideas. it's been real tough. We've swapped and chopped. We've, we've swapped positions. I mean, we're pretty confident where they are. Like, yeah. Obviously, we've spoken to boys. We, we know there's a gravel bar to the left, uh, eight and a half wraps. Obviously, the island across there, there's a there's a cut through. You know that, obviously, for gooses. Well, I've got one down on a tree on the right in the margin. I've been, we've been told that for gooses. So, yeah, cut through on one side and the other side of it. You know, yeah. It's still going to go there. It's, so it's just not like we don't think our rigs are in the wrong places. It's just the <coughs> fish are not there. They're not down this side. I don't know whether that, that side's deeper or whatnot. I have no idea. So you haven't had any there, you know? no, he hasn't. Land. No, all the boys on the island. Just just the ones I felt. Like I said last night, did I? Yeah. If it's that cold. I mean, I found the water temp is seven point two, and it did start off at seven point six. So it's, it's still dropping. So it is cold. It's always going to be um, always going to be hard. So yeah. So what we'll do is we'll show you the cabin, in case you want to come down here in the future. I mean, there's a cabin there. So all lights outside, which is really good. Um, and yeah, it lights up the swivel nicely, so no need. And then, well, pretty, 
box under inside, but it's brilliant. It's all, all what you need. Got a little, uh, we bought an electric heater. So we was lovely and toasty last night, TV. Um, and then a little kitchen. It's, you know what I mean? It's all you need, really. It's enough to make it comfortable, um, especially with these winter sessions. It was uh, it was quite enjoyable last night, wasn't it, wasn't it Carlos? Do you know what I mean? Not sat in a bit of heat, freezing our knackers off. Do you know what I mean? So it's, it's, it's not bad. It's not all bad. But it definitely looks like it's going to be... Um, it's going to be the first blank since since France, I believe. Same with you, isn't it? Yeah. So, it's, yeah, it's one of them. It is what it is. But we've had some fun. Hopefully, you never know. We might come back to you in a bit. We may get lucky. We can still keep plugging away. So, right. Coming back. Yeah. Catch you later. Hi, welcome back, fellow carpers. Um, we're going to do a quick outro. I think we're going to we're going to call it a little bit early. Leave an hour early. Um, it's been it's been dead. It literally has. And, I've got work later, so... But, in all fairness, we've had a decent trip. Um, yes, it is a blank, but the first one now of the year, winter. I'm sure there's many more to come. Um, if you want, drop your, drop your winter tactics in the comments and that, and then we'll have a, we'll have a play around maybe next time. Obviously, back on the fed one next week. Um, so, yeah, so, not a lot on this one. Obviously, we've been... New venue, we've been flubbing around and trying to find the fish and how to fish it, so... Yeah, but all in all, decent, decent trip anyway. At least it's out, isn't it? We, we, um, we put a rod in the water, so we had a chance. It just wasn't to materialise. Um, right, so we're going to leave it there. Don't forget, hit the like, subscribe, if you wouldn't mind. And, um, yeah, we'll catch you on the, on the next session, which is obviously down the fender next week. So, tight lines. Ciao for now.